Here's a warning. I'll turn my light on. About these machines right here. Look at this thing. Generac. What is this? RS5500. Well, I'll tell you this. It was sitting outside maybe for about a month, month and a half. Because no one gave a crap about it. I drained the fuel out of it. I got crap for that. Oh, it looks not enough fuel. Maybe I should have just drained the ethanol fuel out and put boat gas in it outside. That would have been a better idea. But then someone would have probably moved it and shifted it and the fuel would have came out of it. And then, bam, it would be my fault again. So I didn't do it. I left it empty. Because sometimes things that are not mine, they wind up being my responsibility when it's BS. So... I opened up the cap maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago when I was doing a service on another thing that was not mine. Uh, and the cap had rust all over it. I'm not going to open the cap and even show you where the rust was because I'm just not, don't want the fuel vapor. That's what I'm going to get into there as well. When you store this thing full of fuel, you do not smell any fuel vapor. Even if the vent goes, this is like a pressurized vent anyway, right here. It's it, I don't. I think there's like a diaphragm in it, and it's only a certain. It's calibrated to when a certain pressure it opens up and purges a little bit out through the air filter. All right, so that is that. You do not smell any fuel with this thing when it is sitting with fuel, but the tank is rusted. I tried cleaning it. It was. But I did make some success, but it's still rusted. So if you have one of these units, and this one's two months old, three months old, something like that. The tank does say 12 of 16 on it. Uh, yeah, check the fuel tank. You know, they give you a nice little fancy strainer in there. Again, I'm not going to show you because I don't want the, this freaking fuel smell. I'm tired of it. They do give you also two fuel filters. Right over here, right over there. Some people complain these fuel filters are hard to get at. I think they're lazy people. If um, you complain about that or just have uh, no tools. Right cleaner. Yeah, so check, they give you that and the strainer, so if, for a normal person, you're never probably going to take that strainer out with the filler neck and with the two fuel filters, you're going to go, oh, I have two fuel filters, if one doesn't catch the debris, the other one will. But the debris that's going to be in the filters is from the fuel tank, because the fuel tank is going to rust, which this one is rusted, all junk on the top, I can probably bang on it, more stuff will fall down. It's minor rust, but it's rust. And on the bottom floor, there's rust. So this thing actually, the purchaser actually had an extended warranty purchased. I'm curious how that would work, but they're basically, you can't even talk to them. So, um, yeah, that's just going to rust out more. I mean, I'm not even going to mention it, but that's some, that's an avenue which you might consider, um, you know, deal with. If you have that option, if you bought it and you bought an extended warranty from a big box store, perhaps go through them. And then I bet they will probably resolve the issue and get yourself like a replacement gas tank for this. It works fine, although the gas tank is rusted. So there's a deal with the Generac. Um, I wouldn't even consider buying a generator unless you absolutely need it. That has a steel fuel tank. Especially Generac, I think the steel, the Chinese steel, which is made in China... Some people fight you and they go, no, Generac's made in the United States. No, it is made in China. They make a whole bunch of lines made in China. They make like two that are made in the USA, like two lines. And don't buy those stupid units either. Uh, people are going like crazy because they're morons. They don't research anything. They bought the, uh, the standalone unit, like the home backup unit, which is basically like a size engine about like this, this big... That powers the same exact kind of uh, like alternator, like all made overseas, does have an oil filter, air cooled, and it costs like seven, eight, nine thousand dollars or something. When you can buy a huge ass diesel generator for that, and it'll last when you're buying an air cooled piece of junk that's sitting outside in your house, outside your house, remember what I just said, outside your house, rotting with the moisture. So, that's a waste of time. Don't do that either. But yeah, what a... How do you build a fuel tank that rusts in two months? And then they have the nerve, too. I just looked at the part number and shit to see how um, how much it cost. It's like $239 or something for a fuel tank. Are you shitting me? Again, I say it should be warrantied out, but, you know, it's just a couple phone calls. You can probably make that happen. But that'll never happen, so... uh 
yeah, that thing is um, kaput, I would say. And again, it's not my unit. This has my fuel in it, $20 worth, which I'll be taking out soon and uh, burning it myself for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, in the, in the, yeah, what a, that, that upsets me though, that freaking two months in a fuel tank. But again, the original owner doesn't care about it, so, you know, I shouldn't upset me. So that's my uh, warning video about that product right there. It, it's probably going to rust on you. And when you need it the most, you're going to have a bottom of the tank, fill it rust, which is going to probably plug up your fuel filters and possibly your carburetor when you need it the most because it shouldn't have rusted, but it did rust. Again, I think personally keeping the tank full and then draining it and uh, just burning the fuel in your vehicle and then refilling it a couple months later. Yeah, put fuel stabilizer or whatever the hell in it too if you want. But yeah, that's probably a better uh, route to go than to leave it empty. I think possibly leaving it empty in this uh, crazy climate we live in here, this unhabitable climate without the advent of air conditioning. Except today, very rare day. It was 90 yesterday and now it's like 60. Or like 55 or something. 55 and older. It's all common down here. Uh, yeah. Even the weather is insane here when you think about it. It goes from 90 to 55. It's like the people are insane here. They're all over the place as well. But yeah, definitely keep the tank full. That's my recommendation if your tank is not rusted yet. And that probably will um, stop it from rusting. So, if it's a steel tank. Plastic tank, who cares? So it was all rusted around here. You still see it. Want to see what kind of was in our fuel? That's too bright, but as you see, a whole bunch of shit. That was in the bottom of the tank. There was rust in there. See it? And that's why you got to do <laughs> through in the towel. See it right there, man. Look at the freaking orange shit. And the stuff floating in it. Hopefully that fuel filter works. It already seems like it's breaking up a little bit, the loose stuff. I don't know. It seems like it's already cleaning up. <laughs> Maybe a couple days that flash rust will see out. Oh, look at all that stuff down there. Oh, man. That better be loose rust, and that's not rust growing. 